Chanel and this is my podcast about all my Yarny adventures. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Mama of Yarn. Today is October 10th and this is episode one. I have one finished object to share with you today. They are my sock and key club socks. The yarn is by the Yarn Whisperer. It's a monthly subscription which is based on the Lock and Key series on Netflix. They have a 2x2 two two rib on the top. They are knit cuff down with a 2.25mm 9 inch circular. I believe I did 20 rows for the cuff, 60 for the leg, a heel flap and gusset and my normal rounded toe and I think they're very very delicate very pretty perfect dyeing and that's my only finished object that I can share with you um, now on to works in progress my first works in progress are a pair of socks I have I'm knitting them out of a yarn by Bylum, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's on their sock 2575 merino. And it's the perfect colourway for Halloween. Look at that. So vivid. It's pinks, oranges, looks like there's some neon pink and yellows in there. They're on a 2.25 9 inch circular US 1. I'm doing 20 rows for the cuff. I believe these are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 row leg. I have my markers in here. I mark every 10 rows so that it's easy to keep track and the second sock is easy to match. Heel flap and gusset. And I'm hoping to get that pair done by the end of the week. My second work in progress is a Halloween project. This is in my Halloween Disney bag, quite fitting, and it's an African flower granny tarantula. Oh, that's a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> it's going to look, hopefully, like this at the end. It's Pi Lori Crafts NL. You can find the pattern on Etsy. That's how, where I came across it. Um, back so there's a finished picture. I'm making mine out of green and purple. I'll show you a couple of finished squares because that, uh, that's all I have at the moment. So this is purple. I'm using. Paint box yarns, simply DK. It's a hundred percent acrylic. I'm using a nine. Um, I'm not using a nine inch at all. I'm using a three millimeter crochet hook, which I actually can't find. Oh, is that it? Yeah. There it is. A. This is handmade by. Flea buds, and I'm still in the process of doing all the squares. I'm hoping to have them all complete by the end of the week so that I can sew up the There's trench. There's not much else to say. It's a lot of fun, but a lot of squares to put together. Um, I'm hoping to have them done by the end of the week so that on the next podcast I can show you him stuffed and finished. My third work in progress is my Stephen West West Knits shawl. Please note, I am going to be talking and showing my shawl now. So if you don't want any spoilers, please 
do skip ahead as I don't want to spoil it for anyone. And I, three, two, one, here it is. I am on the eighth repeat. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm loving how my colours are knitting up. I'm actually halfway through a row. Um, what's that? And it's got Fave Whip Progress Keeper because at the moment this is my absolute fave. Um, I'm using the Urban Pearl Dark Side of the Moon. Oh, sorry, that was upside down. Dark Side of the Moon Urban Quarter. That's this deep grey colour. And Ted Knits UK. Pumpkin Fields, and that is this beautiful orange colour here. Colours aren't really coming out as vivid as they are. Um, oh, there you are, that's much better. Look, you can see a beautiful orange, greens, and there. The dark side of the moon, I don't know whether you can see, has lots of speckles, greens, reds, yellows, lots of colours in there. And there it is. It's beautiful. I'm using a 3.75 hook because I always go up. I Acquisitions, I only have one acquisition to share with you today. It's my latest Yarn Whisperer Sock and Key Club. It's called the Mend It Key for September. And here's the 100 gram main color. It's very, very delicate. It has these sections of, I believe, either pink or peach on a bare yarn. And the 20 gram mini, look at that. It's beautiful. It's sort of like a turquoisey blue with some gray. And together, I'll have to decide what kind of pattern and design to use for those to make a pair of socks. And that's my only acquisition. I want to thank you for stopping by and spending some of your time with me today. Um, I appreciate you all sticking with me on my very first podcast. I have a bit of a sore throat and a cold. I don't know whether you could hear that. Um, this is my first podcast, so I'm sorry if I come across a little bit wooden, a little bit sort of deer in headlights, but I'd like to thank every one of you for stopping by and watching, and if you wouldn't mind liking, subscribing, and all that jazz, or leaving a comment, I would really, really appreciate it. Any feedback that you have for me would be wonderful. Um, thank you very much. I hope you all have a lovely week, and I shall see you next time.